You're listening to the Water Cooler Edit. Hi, everyone, and welcome to another episode of the Water Cooler Edit with My Be Youth, hosted by myself, Iman, and Richard. And today we're actually going to be doing something slightly different. Richard, do you want to introduce what that is? Okay, so as we're all aware, it be summer out there with the volcanic heat going on. Um, so we're going to talk about things that we recommend uh, for summer, summer activities, things to do, etc. But not just that, we're going to categorise. So do you want to unleash the categories? Yeah, so what we've done is we've chosen an activity each that lies in the free category, affordable, and then things that you can actually splurge on. So that's what we're going to be discussing today. As we've introduced, we each have chosen an activity, so I think I'll go ahead and get started. So we'll start off with the free section. So one of the great things that you can now do in Dubai is that there are three beaches across the city where you can actually go night swimming. So from sunset onwards to sunrise, you can actually go ahead um, and actually explore the beaches. And this is really cool because it's never been done in Dubai before. Nice. So you have 800 meters of beaches across Jumeirah 2, Jumeirah 3, and Umsukim mm. that are fully equipped with all of the facilities. There are lifeguards. You do have to be a little careful about the certain area where you can swim. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. I think that's a really cool way to kind of... Just chill out at night, have some fun where it's not too hot, and you still get to go to the beach at the same time. Yeah, I think that's really that's a good one actually. And thinking about it, um, you could swim in the moonlight. Yes, exactly. In the moonlight. Yeah. How cool is that? You know, how many people have swum in the moonlight? Well, probably quite a few, but still, <laughs> you know, it's a, it's a quite a unique opportunity yes. swimming in the ocean in the moonlight here in Dubai. And that's uh, and that, that's a good one as well. And like you say, um, temperature wise. Yeah whilst it still won't be, um, uh, it won't be cool I... and breezy, but it's mm. still, it will be certainly less than if you went during the day, put it yeah, that way. You exactly. Know? And if you want to know about all of the beaches where you can night swim, all of the facilities that they have offered, the timing, the things that you need to keep in mind, we have an article on My Bay Youth, which is all about night swimming in the bay, so you should take a look at that. Absolutely. Just one quick thing on that. Before you go night swimming in Dubai, never, ever watch the movie Jaws. <laughs> <laughs> Especially not the opening scene, because <laughs> uh, uh, someone goes for a nice little night swim right at the start of that movie. Okay, interesting. Yeah, it doesn't. Yeah, it, it, it doesn't go so well. But, <laughs> <laughs> but that won't happen here. It won't yeah. happen here. Yeah, yeah, it's it perfectly safe. Go have fun. Yeah. But what what is your option, Richard? Uh, my first, my freebie option mm. uh, is Mohammed bin Rashid Library, which is the uh, very distinctive library. Uh, it's by the creek, isn't it? Yeah. Um, which is shaped. You're going to have to help me out with this word. Uh, the architecture is absolutely stunning, um, but it's shaped like a rile. Is it a rile? A Rahul, thank you very much. Yes, yeah. yeah. so which is the stand that um, house of the Quran? The Quran, yeah. yeah. So it's it's in that shape. It's just such a striking building. Looks magnificent. Um, it's free to uh, free entry yeah. essentially. You do have to book ahead. You have to book you book yourself a slot. Um, and our article on my boot has all the details on how to do that. Um, I would say that this, I mean, there's 11 libraries yes. in, in there. It's, it's, it comprises, it's across nine floors, seven floors of which are effectively libraries. Um, and there's 11 libraries within those seven floors. I mean, there's stuff like it. There's a children's library, obviously, which is really, really cool. Um, there's also a library of maps and atlases, uh, which I like because it's going to have, it's got like really old maps and stuff mm. like that. And I love a bit of, uh, this sound makes me sound so geeky, so, and which is, I am, so, you know, guilty as charged, but cartography, a bit yeah. of cartography, I, I like a bit of that. So, um, but look, I think it's, uh, it's, it's, there's just so much history in there mm. as well. Some of the, the, the books they've got go back hundreds, if not thousands of years, right? So, um, yeah, go check it out. It's a great, it's a great freebie place. Uh, there is a cafe there as well, but that's not free. But still, you know, um, if you haven't paid to get in, you can just sit down, chill out, maybe have a coffee and stuff. It's a nice thing to do, right? And most importantly, you're not outside, you're inside. Yeah. AC. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. And there are a lot of exhibitions and workshops and talks mm. and things like that that take place at uh, MBR Library. Yeah, constantly they've got they've got exhibitions going on and all that. They they make a real effort there. It's a, it's a great place. So um, yeah, go check it out. Yeah. 
That would be, so that was my freebie. So now we move on to your affordable pick. Yes, my affordable pick. So this is something that I really like to do. It's a good way to spend a chunk of time indoors. Mm -hmm. It's either to do some, so it's something crafty. It's something artsy. You could either go and actually paint something that's already kind of been made. You could glaze your own like ceramic piece. So it could be a mug. It could be a plate. It could be something that you actually want to, you know, put as a decoration around the house. Additionally, you could take it a step further and you could go to a pottery studio and you could actually make something. So they have classes for hand building and for wheel throwing and things like that. Wow. So you're there for a chunk of time and you actually make whatever it is that you want. And then you can come back and you can paint it and then they're going to glaze it and then you get to take it home as well. Excellent. So have you, have you done this? Yes, I have done it. What did you make? I made a mug once. You made a mug? Yes. Nice. And the second time I also painted a mug. I decided not to make it. I decided to, to paint something ready-made. Yeah. So with your mug, is it a functioning mug or is it riddled with holes? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. They have people that help you as well if you're not very, like, practiced within pottery. Yeah. So it, it works fine. It's, it's a mug. Yeah. So, yeah. so it, it serves its purpose. Yeah. Nice. What color is it? So I made it multicolored. I made it with like red, blue, green, yellow. And it actually, so when I went the first time, I went just to paint. I was mm -hmm. like, let me try. I was there for five hours. Yikes. I was there for five hours because I was like, okay, let me see what I can do. And then I wanted to add multiple layers. And then we got some food as well. And all of us were just chatting. So it took a big chunk of time. And then I was like, oh, wow, this is actually a great way to spend time indoors. Because I did not realize how much time had passed. And yeah, it's yeah. not even that expensive. So at most of the ceramic studios across the bay, if you're just looking to paint, it costs anywhere from like 80 dirhams to even 200, depending on the piece and the size. Mm -hmm. So if you're getting a mug, generally that's going to be around 100, 120 dirhams. Um, but if you're painting, like, say, a big vase or something, that's going to cost more. Yeah, so yeah, I, some people in um, in my family have done this, actually. Okay. And um, they went to the one, I'm not entirely sure what the name is. It's in the same mall on the beach road as uh, Emirates Holidays. Yes, that yeah, one. that's the one in town centre. Yeah, so yes. Yeah, 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 ceramic yeah. cafe. Yes. Yeah. So, um, and so they did what they, they, they painted whatever, and then it gets kind of... It gets fired for yes, two weeks. Yeah, yeah and then you, you get it. And they honestly, and I'm not just saying, is they had a fantastic time. Yeah. Um, and like they've been back again since, just because of it. They also found it quite therapeutic, yes. you know? Because just to, like, chilled out painting while you're having a coffee yeah. or whatever, it's just a nice way to, to kind of ease back and not be looking at your phone for a change. You yeah, know what I mean? Exactly. So. Um, yeah, I think that's another great shout. Yeah, and there are ceramic studios all across the Bay, as there are pottery studios. So you should definitely take a look at both the articles on my view to understand pricing, timing, location, everything on there. If you go to a pottery studio, do they constantly play Unchained Melody by the Righteous Brothers? <laughs> no, no, they don't. <laughs> Is that... There's Sorry, no uh, ghosting people... as well. There's what? There's no ghosting. You know the scene from... Yeah, that's the, what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, there's that's no the, ghosting. Unchained Melody is the song that's playing yeah. in that scene in Ghost, but no, there's none of that. No, no, no. no this, is, this is a good thing. This <laughs> is a good thing. But uh, yeah, no, look, a great shout. Shall I go on to my yes. affordable? Okay, so my affordable is... Um, I'm not using a whole lot of imagination here, but basically it's uh, summer blockbusters, right? Mm. So... Um, as we know, uh, one thing that Dubai and the UAE is not short of is cinemas. They are everywhere. And um, there's obviously, that being the case, there's, it can be fairly affordable, right? Yep. Depending on what cinema you go to or what experience. Um, and we've got, there's some big summer blockbusters this year, okay? So um, we've got Inside Out 2. Uh, which is uh, the sequel to the 2015 yeah. classic, which I absolutely love. Um, and I've seen Inside Out 2 as well, and I, I can't recommend it enough. I think that's fantastic. It's already, at the time of recording, done over a billion dollars at the yeah. box, yeah, box office, the global box office, which makes it the fastest animated movie in history okay. to reach that. I mean, which is quite impressive. You think mm. about all the animated movies in history. Um, and I also think it made a billion quicker than Barbie as well so it's uh, it's doing some business uh and it deserves it as well because it's a really great movie with some uh, some important kind of messages in there as well without being too preachy uh so inside that too a quiet place day one have you seen any of the quiet places i have seen the first one yeah yes the first two first two nice mm -hmm. so yeah, obviously you know they're they're about two or three years into the alien invasion 
Um, this goes right back to the actual day of the invasion in New York, uh, getting decent reviews, very, very jumpy and, um, you know. Scary. Yeah, basically, yeah. <laughs> uh, don't make any noise. So uh, there's that. We've got, um, I'm a little bit, I've got uh, superhero fatigue, I have to be mm -hmm. honest, but um, Deadpool and Wolverine is coming out uh, in July, late July, I believe. That's, that's a big one because it's really the major first kind of X-Men entry into the MCU with yep. Wolverine coming across. Crossover. Yeah, so uh, that's quite a big deal. And back to you for, yes. splurge. for splurge. Expensive, expensive. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so my splurge option is actually pretty straightforward. Mm -hmm. It's summer. It's a good time to spend indoors. People also tend to kind of eat at odd times sometimes. So I prefer going for afternoon tea specifically in summer. I think it's a really nice way to kind of unwind, end your day. Mm -hmm. So I would recommend two options personally. The first one is the traditional bear afternoon tea at uh, Jumeirah's Abil Sarai. So this is actually really unique because they have all of these like luxury bears. It's in collaboration with an art gallery that has this as their kind of motif and well, uh, bears mascot. like a teddy bear type. Yeah. Really? Yeah. So hey. Everything is like bear themed. It looks really cute. It's super Instagrammable and it's actually not that expensive compared to afternoon teas in Dubai. Mm. So this one is for 280 for two. Mm-hmm. That's a, that's oh, yeah. yeah yeah considering price wise, yep. um, especially for for Dubai. Let's be honest, yeah. that's that, that's more than reasonable, isn't it? Yep. You know. And then if you actually want to splurge, mm -hmm. then there's the royalty room, uh, obviously at Atlantis the Royal. So this is a super exquisite and curated afternoon tea that you can have yep. for five sixty for two. So these are obviously the base prices if you want to add alcohol or if you want to add any other kind of experiences, it goes up. Mm -hmm. But this would be my splurge of what you should be doing indoors for summer. Nice. Yeah. You don't have to sell this to me because obviously being, <laughs> uh, being British, like we're all over afternoon mm. tea, right? Although I have to say that I'm always a little bit embarrassed when I do do an afternoon tea okay. because they bring up like a selection of mm. teas for you, all these fantastic flavors yeah. from this part of the world, that part of the world and all the rest of it. And I always just have English breakfast, breakfast. tea, mm. which is essentially black tea is, yeah. what, is what it is, um, which is massively uncultured of me, but I just really, <laughs> really like it. So, um, and uh, I'm not so much about the little nibble sandwiches. Yeah. I'm more about the cakes, but look, yeah. afternoon teas are great. And um, I'd imagine when they're done well, which both of those would be, mm. uh, it's a really nice experience. Um, and it can be even like a special occasion for someone's birthday and things like that. Um, yeah, yeah, no, no, I think that's a, that's a great shout, yeah. great shout. And not just that, there are so many English breakfasts that are infused with different flavors, Richard. Yes. Like bergamot and lavender and things like that. So those ones are very nice. You can still go for something slightly different. Yeah, there's like Earl Grey yeah. and all these, uh, all these things. The only thing is that some of them taste a bit, a bit floral, don't they, you yeah. know? And some people love that taste. Mm -hmm. Uh, me, me, not so much. Oh, me, not point. so much. It's, 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 guys, it's my uncultured palate. No, go no, 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 no. And it's go. everyone's preference. It's everyone's preference. Yeah, different folks, different strokes, right? Yeah. But go and try teas from all over the world. Fruity yeah. teas, meaty teas. No, there's no, no. meat teas. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> different like herbal teas. I prefer herbal teas myself. Yes, you do. Yes, yeah, you're a herbal tea fan, aren't yeah. you? Do you have a personal preference? I personally like rooibos. Any kind of rooibos, ideally with vanilla or with African spices. Nice, yeah. nice. The red tea. I need to, I need to try it at some oh, point. Cool. Yeah, I need to, to to move out of my comfort zone, my English yeah. breakfast tea comfort zone. <laughs> <laughs> but what is your splurge option? Uh, right splurge for me. Okay, so I, I'm going to go with um, uh, the Green Planet. Okay. Uh, the rainforest in the desert. Um, the rainforest here in Dubai. Um, very popular place. Uh, been going for a fair few years now. Mm. There's various things you can do there. Obviously, there's all the, the animal experiences um, amongst just the fact that it's a rainforest indoors. Uh, you know, it's, yeah. it's, it's quite impressive. Uh, so, now looking at it, I mean, it's 155 for a day pass. That's the basic uh, mm. day pass. If you do the VIP day pass, it's 215 dirhams and you get a meet and greet with the green planet lizard mm -hmm. yeah um which, which attacks you and jumps on your face and you have to <laughs> no no so i mean that's uh, that's the vip 
And but there's various other things as well, experiences you can have there, um, including um, which is what I want. This is what I want to do basically. So this is my summer thing: is the sloth encounter because mm. I like sloths. Yeah. Um, some would say it's just because of Flash in the movie Zootopia, yeah. and they'd be right. But that's not the point. No, I, <laughs> I I do like sloths, and yeah, you can have um, uh, for three hundred and fifty dirhams. That obviously includes your entry to the whole attraction as well, as well as the, mm. the sloth encounter. So you get 30 minutes sloth interaction. Nice. Yeah, yeah, they, the, the sloth dances and everything. No, so you, you, you get to, you spend, <laughs> you spend time with the, with the sloth. They have five sloths in total. Wow. Okay. And, um, interestingly, I've got three names, right? Uh, I don't know what the other two are names, okay. but there's Liam. Right, okay. and Lemon, okay. Liam and Lemon the Sloth, and Liam and Lemon the Sloth <laughs> had uh, a baby. Okay. Yeah, and there's a baby sloth was born in Green Planet. Do you know what it's called? Liam and Le Lily? Does begin with L, it's not bad okay. actually, that's a good guess. Uh, it's uh, Lime, Little oh, Lime, okay. Little Lime the Sloth baby, mm. so there you go. Um, and look, I think it's uh, sloths are ridiculously cute. You get obviously photo opportunities mm. and stuff like that. So, three hundred and fifty dirhams is certainly a splurge. But you know, if you've got it, why not um, yeah. spend some quality time with some with lemon, lime, lime and Liam, Liam, the sloth family. Yeah. And that's such a fun experience as well, right? Mm -hmm. Something unique that you can explore. And it's a good way to spend a big chunk of your time indoors, surrounded by animals. That's Completely. fun. That's a fun pick. And you said as well, we, we were talking uh, pre-recording, there's other things as well. There's the camping thing as well, isn't there, yes. Green Planet? Yes, you can. You can stay over. They have summer camps. You can actually explore it at night. You can be a zookeeper for the day and you can actually help them out. Yeah. There are a lot of things that you can do at Green Planet. Yeah, so a whole load of experiences. So just pick the one or ones that, yeah, uh, suit you the most sloths and uh, and go for it yeah so that would be my my slothy splurge <laughs> thanks for sharing your picks richard i've shared mine thank you um you can find information about all of these on my views we have articles spanning from all of the blockbusters that are releasing for the summer mm -hmm. the afternoon teas in dubai pottery places that you can visit everything you need to know about night swimming everything you need to know about mohammed bin rashid library and lots more so there are tons of activities that we actually have not mentioned so take a mm -hmm. look and if you have your picks do share it with us in the comments and we'll catch you in the next one cheers guys you're listening to the Water Cooler Edit.